We all know this dude is a clown. And in addition, Taylor Rooks has shown what solid quality journalism looks like. We have seen some of the worst takes on national television from Emmanuel Acho, a former football player turned analyst turned like wannabe philosopher. And we see women's basketball getting its long overdue shine. Rooks would respectfully put Acho in his place for another asinine take he had on Fox Sports 1. Acho would state on Speak the following. He started off with demanding he give a gender neutral and racially indifferent take. Angel Reese, you can't be that big bad wolf but then kind of cry like Courage the Cowardly Dog. Because if you want to act grown, which she has, if you wanted to get paid like you're grown, which she has, if you wanted to talk to grown folks like you grown, which you told a coach from an opposing team, watch your mouth, if you want to tell people get your money up, then post game when you take an L, just got to take it on the chin. He'd go on to state, nobody mourns when the villain catches an L. And Angel Reese... You have self-proclaimed to be the villain. Shout out to you because you're the second best basketball player on the court. And it was not close. Outside of Caitlin Clark, it was you. Absolute dog. But you can't under any circumstance. Go to the podium and now try to ask for individuals to give you sympathy. Nobody has sympathy for the villain. You painted the bullseye on your back. Why are you surprised when people shoot at you? So if you want to act grown, if you want to pose grown, if you want to talk grown, if you want to talk to grown folks grown, then you got to take the L like you're grown. Because what frustrated me is you want to be the villain, but you want to hope for sympathy like a hero. Rooks was none too pleased seeing this. Respectfully, colleague, the disappointing thing about this take is you actually can't have an informed opinion on this if you are choosing to be gender neutral and racially indifferent. Exactly. Because that is impossible. Her existence as a black woman shapes both how she is seen by others and how she sees the world. And in this case, how she is seen by you. Your response here is actually full of opinions that indirectly and directly involve both race and gender. It's just coded to unsuccessfully soften the blow. You have to ask why Angel became the villain. You have to ask why her role as villain has not allowed her to also be human. You have to wonder why her being asked a question and simply answering has led to this level of discourse. You have to ask what you mean when you say Angel wants to talk grown or pose grown. What is grown a substitute for? You have to ask why trash talking, a practice many athletes engage in, is seen so much harsher when it comes from someone that looks like her. You have to ask how some of the ideas you expressed fuel the fire of the aforementioned marginalization. You have to ask why you heard her discuss unacceptable treatment and your reaction was to discuss how she can't address it. And I have to ask if you spoke to any black women athletes about their experiences in order to give a more enlightened take before you came and said this, I would bet my mortgage that he didn't. Angel has absolutely made herself a public figure and she should be open to the criticism pertaining to her game and persona. She should also be allowed to express when those criticisms are out of bounds. Why did you cling to her reaction as opposed to the vitriol that caused it? She certainly does not deserve sympathy for losing a game. She deserves sympathy for being attacked and targeted for things outside of said game. As much as you believe this to be a take without bias, your reasoning proves the point you are fighting against. Opinions are opinions, and everyone is entitled, but our opinions are shaped by the paradigms we know. I hope no one says they are taking out gender and race because in a black women's world, we do not have that choice. I hope you realize your luxury and privilege by being able to say what you said. I hope you look around and notice the people that this delighted and applaud it. Seeing a black man get on television and give this opinion on a young black woman because it's not for the reasons you think that's my take. Agreed completely. And sadly, we fell for the bait. After all, this is a man who said he doesn't care if his takes are misinformation as long as he farms views to then get brand deals. This incident, among other things, exposes the double standard faced by women athletes. When they display confidence, they're labeled villains. But when they express vulnerability, it's seen as weakness. Reese never asked for sympathy on the court. She has to be treated like a human. And the fact that Acho can't see that means he's either being intentionally obtuse for engagement purposes, or he just doesn't get it. It's likely both. And Rooks took him to task for it. 
as did many viewers and members of sports media. Carter would add, it amazes me how consistently he misses the point on every single one of his takes while simultaneously thinking he's spitting some profound message no one has ever thought of. ESPN's David Dennis Jr. chimed in, there's simply no way to have this take without harboring a deep disdain for black women straight up. Best for last, Ashley Nicole Moss wrote, you start this tweet off talking about the marginalization of a black woman and then use your platform to contribute to it. Miss the point. Being a competitor doesn't supersede Angel being treated as a human. You don't get to control women's emotions to make it easier to respect them. Before going further, if you can't oblige, please become a channel member at youtube.com slash TYT Sports to keep us afloat. Any donos are greatly appreciated. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you a ton for that. Let's understand. Angel Reese in that press conference was speaking candidly after a loss to go to the Final Four against Iowa and Caitlin Clark about what she has suffered this year. I think what many have missed the mark on here is that she said, I've received death threats, I have been sexualized, and many people then started scrolling through her TikTok and downloading and posting on Twitter like thirst trap style videos that she would make when really she's just being a woman. And many have said, oh, uh, oh pity me, I'm being over-sexualized, pity me. What they fail to understand is women are allowed to be women in whatever spaces they want to. What is not allowed is having deep fake AI porn of yourself surface. And that's what she was referring to. But Emmanuel Acho here doesn't see it. He'll never see it. He continues to be. And I mean this with my chest being stuck out. One of the worst members of our industry. He is a supporter of genocide. He will do anything to promote a book. He tries to frame himself as a deep thinking philosopher. When many have seen through it for some time. And the reason why he doesn't go on any more platforms outside of his own is because with a guy like Van Lathan asking him questions, he was exposed. He said he's Nigerian, so he's, he doesn't have any trauma, and he could not answer for why he would both sides every issue, which if you go to his YouTube channel, you will see he continues to do that to, his, to this day. Roe v. Wade. Oh, it's terrible. Let's get both sides. What's going on in the Middle East? Let's get both sides. Black Lives Matter protests. I got to both sides it. This is a dangerous person because they come off as being sympathetic and leaving themselves vulnerable and wanting to create a conversation for the better when really, as Van brought up, in an interview, in a sit-down with Matthew McConaughey, he said, when is Black Lives Matter going to end? And there was no pushback. He says he supports Colin Kaepernick. He brings on Roger Goodell. It is the epitome of a fluff interview. This is exactly what media should not be. And yet this man is getting paid millions of dollars to give his opinions on a major sports network. Go figure.